Alright, we're finally making it into 5.3, which is trigonometric functions of any angles. <coughs> we're going to learn how to find the reference angle, uh, the basics of the inner circle and quadrant angles, trig functions for any 45 degree reference angle, trig functions for any 30 degree reference angle, trig functions for any 60 degree reference angle, and find an exact value. So, should uh, learn an exponential amount of material in this section. First thing we're going to do is learn how to find reference angles. Well, first of all, we're going to define reference angles. So a reference angle is basically the angle created between the terminal side of your angle and the x-axis. And this is basically the angle that we're going to use to label our triangles so that we can find the different uh, trig function values for that angle. The rules that I'm about to teach you here on the next page, uh, they only apply to angles between 0 and 360 degrees or 0 and 2 pi. So if, uh, if your angle's not in that range, then what you must do is find the smallest positive coterminal angle before you try to apply the rules. If you use these rules with an angle that doesn't fall into that category, then you're not going to find your reference angle. One thing you need to know is your reference angle should be between 0 and 90 degrees. So kind of keep that in mind if you find a reference angle that's much larger than that, or 0 and pi halves if you're talking about radians, then just realize that you've probably done something wrong. So let's see if we can't learn the rules first. So, as you can see, I've already labeled my quadrants, quadrant 1, quadrant 2, 3, and 4. And here's what we're talking about. So, you know, if I have an angle that rotates and it ends in the first quadrant, our reference angle, so this is our actual angle, our reference angle is going to be between the terminal side and the x-axis. So what we're actually going to do is we're going to create a triangle. And the angle that we're going to use is this angle to label our triangle. So what you should figure out that in quadrant 1, if your angle is in quadrant 1, then your reference angle is going to be equal to your actual angle. So that works in both radians and degrees, but if you're in quadrant 1, if you terminate in quadrant 1, as long as you're between 0 and 360 degrees, or 0 and 2 pi, your reference angle is going to be equal to your angle. In quadrant 2 is a little bit different though, so if we rotate here, our ref this is our actual angle, how far we rotate. Our reference angle is actually going to be here. Okay, and the way we can calculate our reference angle in quadrant two is we can find our reference angle is going to be equal to 180 degrees minus theta. Now, of course, that right there, as you can see, is our uh, nice little degree symbol for it. So in radians, it'll be pi minus our angle. So we'll have to do a little math here to calculate it in the uh, second quadrant. It just depends if your angle's in degrees or radians. If our angle terminates in the nice little third quadrant, so our angle rotates all the way around here, this is actually our reference angle. That's going to be our reference angle. And again, we're going to create our triangle by just uh, making a little perpendicular line right there to our terminal side. So to find that, what you're going to actually do is you're going to say that your reference angle is going to be your angle minus 180. So it's basically how far past, uh, whoops, not 2 pi, but just pi, how far past 180 degrees do we actually go? So that's how we're going to calculate our reference angle in quadrant 3. So make sure you're aware of that. And then lastly, we need to talk about quadrant 4. So in quadrant 4, our angle will rotate somewhere here. Okay, this is our actual angle. Our reference angle is going to be created between the terminal side and the x-axis. So again, we would draw a triangle like this. We're always going to make our perpendicular to the x-axis. So to find this one, we're going to say that our reference angle is equal to 360 degrees minus our angle. So it's basically how short of a full circle are we? And then, of course, if you're talking about radians, it's going to be 2 pi minus your angle. So those are kind of the rules. We'll look at a couple examples and see if we can't figure out it here in just one second. 